into the future. China wants to make its capital, Beijing, the center of the world's largest super city by merging three provinces into one continuous megalopolis of 130 million people. That's six times the population of New York. The region is called Jingjinji, and it'll tie together the cities in three provinces along the Bohai Bay Rim, using advanced communications networks, new high-speed rail and subway lines, and better highways. Reports are that Beijing's focus will be culture and technology, Tianjin will become a research base for manufacturing, and Hebei will be the new home of many of the federal bureaucracy jobs that will be relocated from the capital. The project has the full backing of President Xi Jinping to catch the area up to China's more economically prosperous regions, like what Shanghai and Nanjing have got going on in the Yangtze River Delta. Covering roughly the total land area of the U.S. state of Kansas, Jingjinji will be unlike anything seen before in the history of mankind. And even though it's still a work in progress, part of a long-term vision, that's not stopping people from moving into areas that are completely unready for them. The services are bad, says a salesman who commutes a total of five hours a day on congested roads. His six-year-old child has more than 65 kids in his class. They live in Yanjiao, one of the many tower-filled suburbs that are sprouting up all across Jingjinji. Yanjiao has about three quarters of a million residents, but just two very small parks and no bus terminals. Why is this the case? Because corruption is perceived as rampant at the local level in China. The central government doesn't allow cities to keep the little tax revenues they do collect, so communities like Yanjiao have no way to pay for desperately needed schools, roads, or enough buses to adequately serve their citizens. The most vital piece of infrastructure that will help fix a lot of these problems is still being built, Jingjinji's high-speed rail network. With trains that can hit 185 miles per hour, urban areas that were previously confined by the 60 miles per hour speeds of a car or subway or train can now greatly expand.各地区呢那个徐峰的基础为他未来的发展应该奠定了很好的一个起点那么他也作为长三角的大后方产业转游的承接地这是一个非常重要的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合作的合
In terms of GDP, size and population, the region already surpasses the San Francisco Bay Area. Economically, it still lags behind Greater Tokyo, but the Chinese government expects the Greater Bay Area to lead the world by 2030. Under a central government blueprint, major cities in the Bay Area will establish themselves as key hubs for different sectors. Hong Kong will be the international finance, navigation and trade center, as well as a transport hub. Macau will be an international tourism city and a platform for trade with Portuguese-speaking countries like Brazil. Guangzhou will take a leading role as an administrative hub, while Shenzhen will expand its leading role as a special economic zone and tech hub. Dongguan is transforming itself from the world's factory into more of a high-tech manufacturing base. Other cities in the region will also be involved, with the government already spending billions on massive infrastructure projects. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Mega Bridge and the high speed rail link from Hong Kong to the mainland are supposed to make it easier to travel between the cities. But integration is not only about physical links, there are many other challenges ahead. Hong Kong and Macau, both former European colonies, have their own legal, monetary, and political systems that are separate from the mainland. Anti-mainland sentiment in Hong Kong is a major hurdle to full integration, with many in the city viewing closer ties as a threat to their unique identity. Another challenge for the Greater Bay Area is attracting talented professionals and distributing them across all 11 cities. Most will inevitably be drawn to the cities of Hong Kong, Macau and Guangzhou. And experts say that in order for the Greater Bay Area to become a global tech center, the authorities must provide more of a safety net for companies keen to experiment. While Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam has urged the cities to work together, there will be regional competition over infrastructure development and professional talent. But planners say the benefits of collaboration are worth tackling the challenges of making the Greater Bay Area dream a reality. Thank you.